So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about a product that really helped me a lot, especially with a personal passion of mine, which is teaching. But before we get into that, if you guys want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, or maybe just photography in general, please do check out the other videos in this channel because I have a tons of tons of videos there already. And if you want to see some of the images that I've created, you could always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So with that out of the way, one of the problems that I've encountered, especially when I am teaching, is that I want to be able to show all my settings to the viewers. Let's say if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that everything that I show or the videos that I show will always have an actual live view of my camera so you could see everything that's happening. Now, I also want to do that, especially now that live workshops are back. I've had a couple of workshops already here in the Philippines, and I'm looking forward to doing a few more internationally pretty soon after this. So you guys want to watch out for that. Now, one of my biggest issues is that whenever I am doing a live view, um, I want to connect it to a camera. I want to be able to project it, sorry, project it to a TV or an LCD or an LED wall so that the participants can see exactly what I am doing. One of the downsides of that, or one of the bigger problems of that, is that the Sony cameras don't allow HDMI output with HDMI info display on. In other words, I cannot show my settings, I cannot show my focusing point, I can't show anything aside from the live view of the actual shoot because Whenever I am transmitting, I have to turn it off or else I won't see anything in the back of my screen. So whenever I'm shooting, I have to do this and look at the look at the monitor, which is actually very difficult. And I do that also with the help of an HDMI transmitter. So I have an HDMI transmitter on top of my camera that transmits to the TV. Now, in order for me to see whatever it is that I'm shooting without to having to look out there, I would normally have to put a phone that's connected to the HDMI transmitter, which now connects to another device on my phone, which basically makes life very, very difficult. And that's why I was so happy when Feel World sent me this. This is the Feel World FT6 and FR6. Now, of course, full disclaimer, Feel World did send me this product, but they are not paying me to make this review. I only said yes, because I know I have some use for it and it's a fantastic way to solve the problems that I was discussing earlier. So what does this do? Basically, this is a monitor and a transmitter in one and a monitor and a receiver in another one. So I can connect one to my camera and one to the TV or wherever the output may be. And there's some other beautiful things about this actually that I would like to discuss and share with you guys. You know, who, who, who knows, one of you guys might want to do this in the future, you might want to teach this product will actually help a lot. So let's talk about what's in the box or in the container. So of course you've got your two monitors here. One is assigned as a transmitter and another one's assigned as a receiver, but they look exactly the same. This 5.5 inches. So it's good enough, it, the size is good enough, and at the same time, it's not too heavy to be on top of my camera. So here, let's put this one here. These are the two monitors. And then, of course, what else comes with it? You've got your antennas that you can connect here on top, of course. And then you've got something to attach this one to the hot shoe of your camera. And then you've got a grip here, the necessary manuals, and you've got hoods also in case it's sunny and an HDMI connector already. So what's so beautiful about this one? As I said earlier, number one, this is a transmitter and a receiver in one already. So I don't need to have another transmitter and another monitor. Everything is here. So this one will allow me now to see whatever it is that I'm shooting with my settings and at the same time transmit it for the audience to be able to see. Now, whenever when I tested this, it was just beautiful. It just worked seamlessly. It just turned on. I just turned it on, connected it via HDMI to my camera, and that was it. However, there were a little things that I needed to tweak in my camera in order for this particular thing to work. Number one, it doesn't transmit if you're recording or sorry, if you're viewing in 4K. So you have to change your HDMI output to 
12-1080p, which is um, which is full HD, and that's about it. And then it just works seamlessly. And another nice thing about this one is that it's got two battery slots here in the back. Here, two battery slots. Now, at first I was wondering why I have two battery slots when it would really just add more weight. Then I realized that it's actually very practical because you've got two battery slots that don't work together. In other words, the, when this bat particular battery is about to run out, you can remove it and this one will automatically take over so you will never miss a beat. Your transmission will never really get cut. And that's actually perfect for the videographer, especially if they're so far away. They could just take out the, the battery and then the transmission won't really be cut, especially for live view or live streams. So I can see myself using this a lot actually for that too, for live streams, because it's such a small monitor. So it's easier for me. And plus the receiver also has a monitor, so I don't need an extra TV for that. So I'm actually looking forward to recording a few more videos with this particular setup. Maybe in the future, you'll see it in one of my instructional videos, but I do want to thank Feel World for sending this because this will really help a lot. In my workshops as to date, my one-on-one, -on -one, or sorry, not my one-on-one, -on -one, but my face-to-face -face workshops that I've been doing for Sony Philippines and other organizations here in the Philippines. And I am looking forward to actually doing a few more in the Western countries, which we will be doing soon, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell. Again, if you want to learn more about off-camera flash photography, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's all there. A lot of videos in there in that channel already about off-camera flash photography. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.